Once upon a time, in a deep forest, there was a world filled with lush green trees and colorful flowers. In this forest lived a gentle deer and a shimmering firefly. The deer was the most graceful and fastest animal in the forest, while the firefly illuminated the darkness of the night with its radiant light. One evening, as the deer roamed the forest, it noticed that the night sky was slowly darkening. Sensing the approach of night darkness, the deer felt a sense of fear. You see, it was afraid of getting lost in the darkness and being left alone. Just then, it noticed a glow under a tree. Curiously, it approached and discovered that the glow belonged to a firefly. The firefly introduced itself as Glint and expressed its desire to help the deer. Don't be afraid, said Glint. My glow will light up the night for you and ensure you don't feel alone in the darkness. Together, the deer and the firefly began to meet every night and wander through the forest. The deer, whose name was Ela, would forget its fear of getting lost in the darkness in the company of Glint's light. Together, they explored the mysterious corners of the forest, danced under the stars, and listened to the melody of the rivers. One night, they sensed unrest in the forest. The birds had gone silent, the wind had stopped, and there was a tense atmosphere. Determined to find out the cause of this mysterious silence, Ayla and Glint decided to investigate together. Deep in the heart of the forest, they found a little bear cub who had gotten lost. The cub was unable to find its way in the darkness and was crying helplessly. When Ela and Glint found it, it was trembling with fear. Ela approached the cub calmly and offered help. Don't be afraid, said Ela. We'll keep you safe and help you find your family. With Glint's glow leading the way, the three set off together. Ela led the way, the cub followed in the middle, and Glint brought up the rear. Together, they made their way through the darkness, ensuring they didn't get lost in the safety of the forest. Finally, they found the cub's family, who welcomed them with joy. The little cub hugged Ela and Glint gratefully. From then on, instead of fear of getting lost in the darkness, there was a new sense of friendship and trust. After that day, Ela and Glint embarked on adventures all over the forest. Their friendship shone like a light in the darkness, warming everyone's hearts. And so, the story of friendship and kindness that helped Ella overcome her fear of getting lost in the darkness came to an end. Children, remember that true friendships will always light up your path, even in the darkest of times. Now, close your eyes and drift into a beautiful world of dreams. Good night. Once upon a time, there were two duck sisters named Pamuk and Firfirli, who lived in a small cottage by a lake. Pamuk was a beautiful duck with snow-white feathers and big blue eyes. Firfirli had brown feathers and a curious look, a little different from Pamuk. They got along very well and went swimming in the lake together every day. One morning, Pamuk and Firfirli went to the lake to swim as usual. The sun was shining brightly and the lake was blue. Pamuk and Firfirli swam happily in the lake. At one point, Firfirli heard a rustling sound in the bushes near the lake. What's that? asked Pamuk. I don't know, but it sounded strange to me, said Firfirli. The rustling sound got closer and closer. Pamuk and Firfirli froze with fear. Suddenly, a fox jumped out of the bushes. The fox grinned when he saw Pamuk and Firfirli and started running towards them to catch them. Pamuk and Firfirli were terrified. They didn't know what to do. Firfirli suddenly had an idea. You start swimming, I'll distract the fox, she said to Pamuk. 
Pamuk started splashing in the lake to draw the fox's attention to Ferfirli. Ferfirli stood in front of the fox and started yelling at him. Stay away from me, I'll hit you, she shouted. The fox was surprised by Ferfirli's courage. He paused for a moment, then got scared of Ferfirli and ran back. Ferfirli swam in the lake with joy, knowing that she had saved Pamuk. Pamuk hugged for Fearly and kissed her. The two sisters returned home together and promised to always support each other from that day on. When they got home, their mother duck greeted them anxiously. Where have you been? I was so worried about you, she said. Pamuk and Fear Fearly told their mother about the adventure they had with the fox. Mother duck praised Fear Fearly's courage and Pamuk's calmness. You are very brave and smart ducks. If you always support each other, you don't have to be afraid of anything, she said. Pamuk and Firfirli listened to their mother's words and decided to always support each other. After that day, they always watched out for the fox whenever they went to the lake. They never met the fox again, but they were always on the alert. Pamuk and Firfirli's adventures didn't end there. One day, while swimming in the lake, they encountered a baby turtle. The baby turtle was lost in the lake and couldn't find its way home. Pamuk and Firfirli decided to help the baby turtle. They carried it to the rocks on the other side of the pond. The baby turtle thanked Pamuk and Firfirli very much. Pamuk and Firfirli returned home happy to have helped the baby turtle. That day, they realized that it was important not only to be brave, but also to be helpful. Once upon a time, there was a clear lake in the middle of a sunny valley. This lake was home to many creatures, including colorful fish, graceful water birds, and curious frogs. One of the most curious and adventurous inhabitants of the lake was a large green-eyed frog. One day, the frog was basking in the sun on a lily pad when he heard a strange noise coming from the depths of the lake. He hopped over to investigate and found a small, agile fish. The fish was surprised to see the frog and asked, Who are you? I've never seen you here before. The frog replied, I live in the lily pads near the shore of this lake. I'm a fish who lives in this lake, said the fish. The frog and the fish started talking and quickly realized that they had a lot to learn from each other. The frog told the fish about the insects and flowers that lived near the lake, and the fish told the frog about the underwater world and its many secrets. From that day on, the frog and the fish became friends. They met every day at the edge of the lake to play games, explore the lake, and teach each other new things. One day, a sudden storm erupted over the lake. The strong wind and rain whipped up the waves and darkened the sky. The fish was terrified and didn't know what to do. The frog saw the fish's fear and quickly hid him under a lily pad protecting him from the storm. After the storm passed, the fish thanked the frog for saving his life. The frog said, that's what friends are for. They help each other in times of need. The frog and the fish remained friends for the rest of their lives. They always helped and supported each other no matter what. Although they were different species, their shared love and respect for each other brought them together. The lily pads near the shore of the lake became a symbol of their friendship and love. Their story was passed down from generation to generation, reminding all the creatures of the lake and the valley of the power of friendship. Once upon a time, there was a lush green forest in the middle of a sunny valley. In this forest, there lived a curious cat who loved to embark on new adventures every day. 
The cat had soft fur, bright eyes, and ears that were always alert. It had explored every corner of the forest and befriended every living creature. One day, while the cat was wandering through the forest as usual, it encountered an animal it had never seen before. This animal resembled the cat, but it was much larger and more majestic. Its shiny fur glistened in the sunlight, and its powerful paws supported its massive body. The cat was a little scared in front of this magnificent creature, but its curiosity won over and it approached it. Hello, the cat said with a trembling voice. Who are you? The large animal responded with a soft and deep voice. I am a tiger. The cat was surprised. You're a tiger? I'm a cat too, but you're much bigger than me. The tiger smiled. Yes, tigers belong to the cat family. We all resemble each other, but we are created in different sizes and with different features. The cat and the tiger started chatting from that moment on. They told each other about their families, where they lived, and their favorite things. The cat learned how strong and brave tigers are by listening to the tiger's stories. The tiger also realized how curious and intelligent the cat was. As they talked, they realized they had things in common. They both loved playing games, wandering through the forest, and discovering new things. They started playing games together. The tiger taught the cat the game of hide and seek. The cat, in turn, showed the tiger the games of climbing and jumping from trees. They made each other laugh and had fun. When evening came, it was time to say goodbye. The cat said goodbye to the tiger and returned home. That night, it couldn't sleep without thinking about the tiger. It knew it had a new friend in the forest now. The next day, the cat excitedly went to the forest to see the tiger again. From that day on, they started spending every day together. Although they were different, the cat and the tiger became very good friends. They always helped each other and were always together. They experienced many adventures together. Once, a group of baby birds fell out of their nests after a storm. The cat and the tiger worked together to protect the chicks and put them back in their nests. Another time, a hunter entered the forest and started hunting animals. The cat and the tiger fought together to stop the hunter and drove him out of the forest. The friendship between the cat and the tiger became an example for all the animals in the forest. They showed that they could live with each other with love and respect, even if they were from different species. Every corner of the forest began to echo with their joyful laughter and games. Once upon a time, there lived a crocodile family in a lush green forest on the banks of the Nile River. The father, Croc Dad, was a wise and strong crocodile. Croc Mom was a loving and caring mother. And the youngest of the family was Timmy, a curious, mischievous, and adventurous baby crocodile. Timmy couldn't wait to embark on a new adventure every day. He loved swimming in the river, climbing rocks, and playing with insects. One day, while swimming in the river as usual, he saw something shiny on the water surface. Approaching it, he realized it was a golden coin. Timmy got very excited and took the coin out of the river. On his way home, Timmy showed the golden coin to his parents. Croc Dad and Croc Mom were very proud of their son's honesty. They asked Timmy what he would do with the golden coin. Timmy said he wanted to use it to help poor crocodiles. The next day, Timmy took the golden coin and went into the forest. He found the poor crocodiles living in the forest and shared the golden coin with them. 
The crocodiles were very happy with Timmy's generosity. Timmy was also very happy to see their happiness. From that day on, Timmy continued to embark on a new adventure every day. He made new friends in every adventure and won everyone's love with his helpfulness. Timmy's story taught all the crocodiles the importance of honesty, generosity, and adventurousness. Once upon a time, there lived a lovely beaver family in a lush green forest by a sparkling stream in the heart of the woods. The family consisted of the industrious and skilled beaver dad, the kind and caring beaver mom, and their curious and helpful son, Timmy the beaver. Timmy the beaver couldn't wait to embark on new adventures every day. Swimming in the streams, building dams, and playing with his forest friends were his favorite activities. One sunny day, while swimming in the stream as usual, he heard a strange sound coming from the bushes near the water's edge. Approaching the sound, Timmy discovered a baby bird that had fallen out of its nest and was chirping fearfully. Timmy felt sorry for the little bird and wanted to help it. However, he was too small and clumsy to climb up to the nest. He pondered what to do, and suddenly a brilliant idea struck him. Timmy decided to build a ladder using the flat stones and sturdy pine branches he found along the stream. He worked diligently, carefully placing the stones and branches together. After some effort, he constructed a sturdy and safe ladder. Using the ladder, Timmy skillfully climbed up to the nest and gently picked up the baby bird, bringing it safely down to the ground. The baby bird's parents were overjoyed to see their little one unharmed and expressed their gratitude to Timmy with warm hugs. Timmy felt immense happiness knowing he had helped the baby bird. From that day on, he made a heartfelt decision to help all creatures in need throughout the forest. He extended his helping hand to any creature that required assistance. He helped a tiny squirrel rebuild its nest after a storm. He carefully carried an injured owl to its nest and took care of it until it recovered. He guided a lost baby rabbit back to its mother. Timmy's kindness and generosity became known throughout the forest. Everyone loved and respected him. Timmy, in turn, felt the joy of helping and spreading love with each passing day. Once upon a time, there was a swordfish who lived in the waves of the vast blue ocean. Its silver scales sparkled in the sunlight and with its sharp and pointed sword, it was one of the fastest and most agile hunters in the ocean. However, this swordfish was different from the others. It loved to play more than it loved to hunt. One day, while swimming in the shallow waters of the ocean, it encountered a pod of dolphins. The dolphins jumped and played joyfully when they saw it. The swordfish joined them and they had hours of fun together. The dolphins taught it how to do somersaults, make rings of breath from the water, and chase each other. The swordfish was so happy that it had never had so much fun before. From that day on, the swordfish started meeting the dolphins every day. 
they would play together and explore the depths of the ocean. The swordfish no longer enjoyed hunting as much as it used to. For it, the most important thing was to have fun with its friends and enjoy the blue ocean. One day, while playing with the dolphins, a storm broke out. Giant waves began to lash the ocean. The dolphins were scared and didn't know what to do. The swordfish, however, remained calm and brave. It led the dolphins to safety and protected them until the storm passed. After the storm, the dolphins thanked the swordfish profusely. It had become their hero. The swordfish was also very happy to have made friends with the dolphins. From that day on, the swordfish and the dolphins lived as the happiest and most playful friends in the ocean. The story ends here. Good night.